Hi, this is Dr. Brian Walsh, member of the research and development team with ProGrade. Who today has not heard that we should be taking about 1,500 milligrams of calcium a day for bone health, especially with women? Uh, yet another study, however, came out suggesting that increased calcium intake in the form of calcium supplements might actually increase one's risk, especially women, of heart attack and stroke. Now this is serious reason for concern given all the many years that we've heard that women should take calcium supplementation to make sure that they're getting adequate calcium for things like bone health. But here's what this study did. First of all, it was published in the journal Heart, and they took 24,000 people and tracked them for 11 years. And here were their findings. People that had moderate calcium intake, which meant about 820 milligrams a day from all sources, which meant food, multivitamin and mineral supplements, but about 820 milligrams a day had a 31% lower risk of heart attack than people that didn't have nearly that much calcium intake. Now that's good, and that suggests that we do need calcium as a part of our diet, and it's also been shown to help decrease uh, blood pressure, decrease risk of things like diabetes, so we need some calcium. But what this study did find is that people that had excessive amounts of calcium intake, above 1,100 milligrams, for example, or 1,500 milligrams, usually from a calcium supplement alone, found that they had a 86 higher, percent higher chance of having a heart attack. 86 percent higher risk of heart attack with a higher level of calcium intake, usually from some kind of calcium supplement. So, no study is proof of any one given thing. But here are some take home messages from this. One is more is not necessarily better. We don't necessarily need to go for the highest potency supplement, vitamin, mineral, or whatever is out there because that may not be what our body actually needs. And when you look at the body from an evolutionary perspective, we never got that amount of vitamins and minerals and nutrients all in one particular dose. Secondly, is coming from a food-based multivitamin, multimineral like ProGrade's VGF Plus, when you look at the amount of calcium in there, three tablets only gives you 200 milligrams of calcium, and that's spread out over the day. So, and, and usually you'll take that with food. So a whole food-based, moderate potency, multivitamin, multimineral supplement like VGF 25 Plus may offer you the amount of calcium necessary for health benefits, but it's all spread throughout the day and it doesn't have the excessive amounts that are found in a lot of these high-potency multivitamin, multimineral uh, supplements, or just calcium by itself. So when you're taking nutrients, consider that we don't need as much as maybe we're being suggested. And we, for a long time, have been consuming food as our primary source for vitamins and minerals. It's not in the food anymore. It's depleted in the soils. So taking a multivitamin, multimineral, moderate potency food-based like VGF 25 Plus might be one of the best options today. Thank you very much for your time, and I hope you found this video helpful.